Hello, everyone. You know, we've been told our whole lives that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? And if you're trying to eat healthier, this is even more important, but it also makes it kind of hard to find meals that are both yummy and won't kill your diet. So to the rescue today is Angela Mitchell and Bev Collins with First Watch who are here with some great ideas for us. First off, ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, I pass by First Watch every day on my way in here to the station. You guys are right across the street. Yes. Uh, but kind of tell me a little bit about First Watch and what you offer. All right, so we do a little bit of everything. So no matter what you're craving, we have you covered. We have traditional breakfast, eggs, bacon, potatoes, and we have some more indulgent items like our fluffy pancakes oh. and waffles. And we also can do a little bit healthier options if that's what you're into. You know, we can do anything gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, just talk to your server, the manager when you go in, and we can definitely get all of that worked out. And I know tons of people that are always looking for places that can do that for them. I have someone that's gluten-free in my own family, and they're mm -hmm. always like, it's hard to find restaurants that can kind of cater to that and still taste amazing. And I know you guys are just uh, the place. This spread looks amazing uh, that you guys have on here, and you kind of hit on some of that items uh, that are on your menu. What are some of the other ones or maybe some of the ones that you think are your favorite? Well, we also have a really great lunch menu, which a lot of people are very excited about these days. So we have our beef and Havarti sandwich, and we also have a really wonderful ham melt mm. uh, sandwich on our menu, and then a few really great salads as well. Now, on top of this wonderful food, this f beautiful spread that you guys have, you also do healthy drinks. And actually, some of these drinks, I've been wanting to try them. What are some of the ones you brought in today? Yes, so we also have, um, from our fresh juice bar, we have our kale tonic, which I think is our best seller. It's kind of our signature drink. And then we have my favorite is the morning meditation. It's got some turmeric juice and uh, orange juice, and then it's topped with a little bit of beet juice. And for our new special, we have a uh, turmeric lemonade, which is really refreshing, especially uh, during the hot summer days. It sounds refreshing. And I know you guys, I said you're gonna give us a couple of great ideas that we can kind of incorporate. And you're gonna make two recipes for us today, right? And the first one, I'm gonna tell you that my general manager came into our office yesterday and I said you were gonna make this and he could not stop talking about it. He was so excited. And the first one is avocado toast, right? Yes. You guys kind of make it with a little bit of your own spin. Yes, yes, we make it special. We've got some special ingredients here. So I think Bev is gonna get us started. Right. With the basted eggs is how we serve them, but we can serve them anyway. Now when you say basted, can you explain, because I've heard of over easy, but basted, what does that mean? So a basted egg is uh, basically fried, and then to finish, we add a little bit of water in a lid and we steam it oh. to completion, and it gives it a really nice velvety texture. Interesting, so would that be for somebody that likes the yolk runny? Any way you want it, because oh. you could do basted light, medium, or hard if you don't like runny yolks. I'm, I'm a runny yolk girl. That's how I like it, especially so, if it's yeah. going to go on some toast. I so love that. Just the way it's served is perfect. Basted medium. Basted medium? Mm -hmm. I've already got my uh, order ready. So once go. we have the egg, where do we go from there? All right, so then we have our uh, avocado mash, which we make with uh, fresh avocados. And um, we're going to a little bit of seasoning as well, and then we're going to spread that on our thick cut whole grain toast. And then Bev is also going to put a little bit of olive oil on top. And what really is the kicker to this dish is our hand harvested molden sea salt. Oh. It makes it amazing. There you go, that was the secret love that you guys put on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> And this right now, avocado toast, by the way, because I was saying that I was telling everyone what you guys were making today, is so popular. Everyone is saying this is what they're looking for, this is what they want, and you guys have made it just perfectly. Well, it is so beautiful. You even played it so you. nicely. <laughs> um, on top of the avocado toast, you guys also do a, is it Superfoods Bowl? Yes. What so is we that? We have our Superfood Bowl over here. And it is... It's called a superfood because it's a chia seed pudding made with coconut milk. And the chia seed pudding packs so many nutrients in such a small portion. So it's a superfood. 
Interesting. Chia is very uh, in right now. It's, mm -hmm. Everyone is finding ways to incorporate it into um, a dish, and you guys have found a wonderful way to do it. Yeah, so we make a pudding out of it. So what Bev has here is our coconut milk, and we sweeten it. You can use any kind of sweetener you want, but we do use an organic blue agave <coughs> syrup, and there's a little bit of vanilla in there as well. And then you pour the chia seed that has, is salted a little bit into that pudding. And then you let it rest and it thickens for about two hours in, under refrigeration and it'll thicken into a really yummy pudding. It has the consistency after it blooms for that amount right. of time as it has a little bit of a texture of tapioca. Oh, okay. So it's actually very delicious. And how do we sort of garnish it? So after that sets, um, we, we place it in the bowl and we take some of our blackberry preserves and we just give a little ring of it around the outside. And then we top it off with some fresh berries and some banana. It looks beautiful. And then on top of that, we have our homemade, we make it in-house, our granola. Which granola. gives it a little bit of a crunch on the top. The crunch, I was going to yes. say. Now, I'm curious because I want to go, you know, here at the station, we all come in quite early. What time do you guys actually open up? We open at 7 a.m. Oh, perfect. 7 sharp. And then uh, we do, we see all the way till 2.35. And now I know I said we have one right here across the street from the station, but you guys have five locations, right? Yes. yes. And, uh, of course, we're going to want to hit you guys up early, uh, go in for the breakfast, and then come back for lunch. And, and do the great lunch menu that you guys have. These were two great ideas, ladies. I can't wait for people to come and try them out at the at the first watch closest to them. But thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for thank having you us. Thank you so much. Oh, thank absolutely. You. Now to try some of the amazing items we just created, visit one of their five locations here in Tucson for more information or to find a location, visit firstwatch.com.